Welcome to Hitchcock Scrapyard Incorporated, located two miles south of Canton on Route 78. Whether you're a large industrial customer or just the everyday person driving in off the street, we're here to satisfy all your scrap metal needs. We provide roll-off containers to different uh, suppliers at Caterpillar and other industries, um, semi-trailers, whatever a piece of equipment you need for your scrap needs. We'll, we'll drop boxes off trailers pick it up, bring it in and process, and um, provide mills with quality scrap based off chemistry, size requirements. The key to, to generating the dollars is that you have to turn the product back out as fast as it's coming back in. You don't want to hold inventory. You want to change the inventory back out and keep the uh, scrap to the ground. Every mill has got its own specifications on uh, uh, chemistry, sizing issues. Uh, we. Uh, we bought our new cat shear just for uh, one of the mill's requirements on structural steel. It's a lot faster than our stationary shear, so uh, we purchased it a, a couple years ago. When we first bought the shear, we're used to the, what the old shear capabilities was. So we, we used this, started to downsize material for the stationary shear, and this thing was so fast that accomplished that job so quickly, we started to find other things for it to do and it started processing structural steel off of the side and soon we were out producing the stationary shear. Uh, production went from eight loads a day off the stationary shear to 15, 16 loads a day in the combination and he still accomplished the downsizing to feed the stationary shear while accomplishing the additional seven, eight loads a day. As far as the the speed and the power of the shear, I believe it's a perfect balance. I mean, it's very fast, at least twice as fast as second wise as my uh, competitor shear, and it'll cut stuff that the other one wouldn't even dream of. As far as production, I mean, it, it, you really can't compare it, it's way better. The new cat shear is so fast that um, we'll actually process with it. The new piercing tip on the cat shear that we have is an excellent design. No, we use it for piercing plate, I mean, I-beams, you, you name it. Any type of material you run into, I haven't had a problem with it yet. The new design on the, on the shear jaw produces so much better because it pulls that material back into the jaw. You don't have to chase material around. If you can get it just started into the jaw, it'll grab it and shear it. When you gotta have a, a piece of equipment on there that you gotta wrestle in order to get it to do exactly what you want and it's not very coordinated, makes for a long day. But when you got a, you know, an attachment on there that does exactly what you want, as fast as you want, and as accurate as you want, and you can see the results in your tonnage. Absolutely, time is money. Downtime just kills you. So the, the big thing is to make sure you have uptime, which means the equipment has to be running every day. Compared to our old shear, the new shear shines in the, just the, the meat of the shear. It is it's strong. We're seeing a lot better tip wear. We're seeing just all, all around just better productivity. On competitor shears, once they start to wear a little bit, I think they're not built quite as stout as the Caterpillar shear. It allows the jaw to flex and when it flexes, the thinner material will get stuck in between the blades and it'll jam where you can't open it or shut it. The entire time I've had this Caterpillar shear, I've never been stuck and I've never experienced that in any other shear I've ever ran. The blade life on the new cat shear is anywhere from 180 hours to 250 hours. Competition, I'm getting 60 hours to 100 hours out of them. A lot of times I'll break the blades in them and have to flip them. We have 1,830 hours plus on that shear and have been very happy with it. The only downtime has been to stop and flip blades and we have had just fantastic productivity out of it. Other improvements that Caterpillar made on this work tool on the shear that mean a lot to us as a customer are the serviceability of the, of the work tool. The grease zerks are all accessible from the ground so you aren't bringing a ladder, having a guy stand on a ladder, having to tie off to, to do service. The competitor shear we had, the blades would be gummed in where you had to get your hammers out, sledgehammers, and try to beat the blades out. And sometimes it was almost impossible. You ended up cutting them out with a torch. This one here, you unbolt it, they fall out. It's about a 45 minute flip. 
and you're right back out working. Caterpillar is fantastic at supporting us in training. Our, our dealer will bring people down and show us better ways to run the machines, better ways to use the work tools, and also when we, when we did the initial build up on the shear, they came down and spent the time and showed us the proper way to do all of that. That support is fantastic and you can't put a price on it. It it's just helps you out as a customer so much to have that support and know that you've got Caterpillar behind you. I would definitely recommend a cat shear to another operator and the, it's one of the biggest questions I get and my answer is to have somebody come run it and they see it for themselves. But as far as I'm concerned, I've ran competitor shears and I've been in the scrap business my entire life. It is the fastest, best shear I've ever ran. I mean, that's what I have to say about that.